give you a little bit of shape, won't be like too much of a fringe or anything like that. Okay. You can still put it behind your ear and it just gives it a bit of something. That's a nice, nice baseline to then create a bit of a soft layer yes. and create that shape in the front. Okay. With yours, those haircuts are very, they're sort of cut like this, which is nice. Yep. With yours, I'll do it a little bit differently. Okay. I would do it so you've got a little bit of shape there, so you've got yep. that. Leave a little bit of that and then shape it out from there, okay. so it's not completely cut in. Yeah. Just because your hair will just because of your hair is so strong, it will just go a bit lumpy okay. unless you take loads and loads of weight out. Yeah. Which I don't really want to do. So it'll be a bit of a softer version. So if yeah. you want to do more to it, we've dried it. We can always. Do it. And then layer wise, probably if you imagine that's your sort of shape there. Yeah. That'd be your kind of shortest layer sort of there. Okay. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. And then like a length around here. Yeah. So you've kind of got still long hair but it just gives it that kind of life and movement. Yeah, amazing. So you're kind of resetting it like that. Would yeah. Be very nice. Do you like it to be quite blunt the ends or soft, or are you not really too? I prefer them soft.